Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We are going to talk about ADCs. Eh? This time we are going to talk about a compensation ADC. Last time dual slope, today compensation. How is this working? Again, we have an input voltage. Eh? We have an input voltage we want to digitize. We want to get a number for. Eh? So here is the input voltage. UI. And we want to have a number reflecting the current size of UI, the current strength of UI. And, well, this time we are directly comparing UI you know, with a, another voltage. So we have a comparator. Meanwhile, we know what a comparator is. Minus plus. Here's the comparator. So we are comparing this UI to another voltage, a voltage you see, comparison voltage. Whenever you see is bigger than UI, the comparator will get an, an high as output. Yeah? So the output will be one, logically one if we do have a bigger UC than UI, because UC is connected to the plus and UI is connected to minus, so plus must be higher than minus to make a one here. The first thing I do, I don't want to know if it's higher, I want to know if it's lower. So I make a knot here. All right. Then I make it like that, that I have somewhere an end. Somewhere I have an impulse generator again. So there's an impulse generator. Good. And at the output of the end, I now have only impulses as long as the comparison voltage is lower than the input voltage. Right? So those impulses I will feed again into a counter. So again we have this, this block with counter then we have a memory somewhere to reflect the last counter value counter value will be transferred to the memory again if we have we are finally done with with counting yeah? and our counter value reflecting somehow the size of UI we have again we might have again a display and we might have or we have for sure our digital out our digital value So it's again a counter. However, how to produce this comparison voltage? Yeah. Here, what we go, actually what we do is we are using a digital analog converter taking the current counter value. If the current counter value is low, the digital analog converter will have low output. And this is exactly our comparison voltage. Okay, So we're counting up until our DSC is have a bigger output than the input. And th then we stop the counter. We stop it. That, that, that's it. Yeah? Then we stop counting. Yeah, this is already done. Stop counting. I need then some logic here. Yeah? So I need somehow uh, control logic, yeah? control reset logic, which will trigger here a reset. This also needs the information if we are already higher. And that's it. That's actually a straightforward approach. All right. So we start to count. 
The control reset logic is resetting the counter. Counter value is zero. Uh, we start to count until UC is bigger than UI. We are stop counting, transferring. The control reset logic is transferring the counter value to memory. This can be displayed and and then after that it's resetting the counter and this start it, the thing starts over. So we always start counting at zero, counting up until we have the correct value to match the input voltage. Straightforward approach, right? And what happens if the input voltage is too high? Well, then the counter will have an overflow and start at zero again. It will never be triggered to the memory. Yeah? So the memory is always holding the last valid value. Okay? I don't have to take care about that. This is automatically, this is already built in in this logic. What is not that good is that we always start to count at zero. We always start to count at zero, counting up until we have reached. This, this means the, 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 the transfer time, the time to get a digital value, is somehow influenced by how big UI currently is. Bigger UI need bigger time, yeah, longer time, and small UIs need shorter time to get a digital value from. Compensation ADC. Of course, on really fast ADCs, uh, this should not... This is simply wasted, wasted time. Yeah? And if it's going about speed, we might switch to a different method. Uh, this different method is called continuous approximation ADC. How this is working, I'm going to explain in next video. Next video, continuous approximation approach for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.